G'day people, how are you going? Today's a beautiful day to make a, actually it's night time now. I'm a bit blind. To make a corn video. And here I have a set of one and two Australian cents. These were withdrawn from circulation in 1991, but they are still legal tender. I could take these to the bank and get like uh, this face value worth of um, higher denominations. And these are actually worth more in metal value than they are in a uh, face value. These are bronze coins. Now, if you do come across these type of coins, the uncirculated ones are good to keep. Circulated ones like uh, this coin here, yeah, probably not. Now, the dates you actually want to keep is 1982. The dates you want to actually collect these are 1968 in high grade because there were no um, mint sets produced in that year, so uncirculated coins are very hard to come by. And 1969 also because. Um, no, I did just like a lower mintage, especially for the two cent coin. I don't think I have any of uh, those years in this lot. No, I have 1966 here. Yeah, quite worn. I'd say like fine condition. Now, what are you looking for in 1966? Something with the paws. Okay, we're looking for the first paw, and third paw is blunt. I will have to look up that and I'll make another video. Um, because I'm not too sure which, uh, which actually foot it is. And remember, lizards don't have hands, they have four feet. Only koalas and primates have hands. Okay, so now let me have a look and see if there's any other coins. That are good in this lot. So when you're looking uh, for some coins, you want them in this condition. This is uncirculated, or almost uncirculated, I'd say. As you can see, it has lustre. It has uh, very few scratches, and it has no wear on it. And the same as this one cent here. Okay, there's lustre. These beautiful bronze coins. Now that is a ring-tailed possum, pretty common in Australia. This is a frill neck lizard. Um, these live uh, up in the dry areas of Australia, and this area, this uh, neck um, frill, it, it, if you ever seen Jurassic Park and you see those dinosaurs that had that frill when they get scared, that just comes out and it makes it look bigger. That's that's essentially what it does, but. We're not too sure if, um, I forget what those dinosaurs were called. Um, I'm not too sure if that is actually the case with those dinosaurs. So, here's another good one, 1966. Probably very fine. Yeah, that, that's probably worth keeping. Or worth selling, whichever one you want. And here is a better one. This is like, high, ex high very fine. It wouldn't be extremely fine because you can see that there's uh, lots of damage on the coin. But if you can get better ones, this still has lustre. Maybe it's been... No, I don't think it's been cleaned. It's just been improperly um, stored. As you can see, there's lots of uh, some rust starting to happen. And that is what patina is, just rust. Okay, 1969. Yeah, it's alright. Probably like a... Uh, Fine condition, or very fine condition, should I say. High points have been worn down. And this one is probably just in fine condition. But if you can get 1968 in this condition, um, oh, they can be worth up to like $50. Those are very hard to get. So, those are Australian 1 and 2 cent coins. Yeah, most, most young people I come across have never actually seen these coins. Most young people are not interested in coin collecting. Okay, so if you found this video very informative, please give it a thumbs up.
Yeah. And please subscribe to my channel because I like to make new videos every day. For now, anyway. Thank you and bye bye.